within it is, is great compression. I've always thought of, of, of Tracy as being a, a kind of poet in a way. So what she's doing is giving us a series of images mm -hmm. and she compresses them in a different way, a visual way, but they're the same sort of thing about how she feels or what her memories are. In this sense, a kind of loneliness, a kind of fear about the future. She's tipping into 50, what's going to happen? And in that sense, I think it's, it's, a, it's a really beautiful exhibition mm. for two reasons. One is that we do get that sense of these poetic compressions of her experience and then very poignantly within her hometown. Yeah. Um, people have talked about this as being a resolution, but you know, as Paul's saying, you know, Tracy is only 48. It is, mm. it is an, she's at a stage, but she will go on presumably changing mm. ever more. Well, I, I disagree. With, well, I think that it, it, because I think the only good thing about the exhibition is that it's in Margate. Um, you know, I think Tracy Emin did produce some great work back in the 1990s about her childhood and her youth and all those other kinds of things. But, you know, it's 20 years later now, she is a very wealthy 48-year-old pillar of the establishment. And I don't buy that shtick that she has, which is the diaristic, confessional, teenagery shtick. I just don't think it rings true. And when, when she said... But she's, in the, not, but she's not doing teenage stuff now. Well, I think a lot of it still is. I mean, there are, you know, drawings of women clutching their crotches and talking about, you know, how, th how much things hurt. Um, and I just think that I don't buy it. She talks uh, in your VT section about um, uh, how this whole idea of an exhibition was spawned from this uh, unpleasant experience she had when her gardener cut her olive grove uh, too aggressively. And, I mean, how are we supposed to have sympathy for this? How are we supposed to... Uh, I mean, is she really well, no, laying bare really, the universal no, truths no, of, the, of the human condition? With her, with her olive grove. I, I, I think perhaps the way the edit shows actually what it was was that when this happened to the olive grove, she returned to her father because her father was Mediterranean and he would have understood how to deal with that, but he was dying and therefore she couldn't. So I, I think there's probably a, a bigger story that perhaps we weren't able to well, tell. I would have had I would have had more sympathy for the exhibition if the work inside it had been better. Uh, I, 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 there are some things I really like. The embroideries based on her drawings I thought were really, really mm. beautiful. But the drawings themselves which dominate this exhibition are scratchy and formless and repetitive and covered in these cloying, faux naive inscriptions. And above all, they're hurried. I mean, each one took 20, 30 seconds to do properly. And I think she owes us a little bit more than that. Natalie. Oh my God, that's Natalie. a hell of a thing yeah. to say. Th she th owes you that, does she? I, she I, owes her audience wow. a little bit more I, I, than that. What doesn't what they show, well, apart from that, she's professor of drawing at the Royal Academy, me, and that certainly stands for something. But when I did this exhibition, I thought, you know, the thing is, she embraces it is every, you know, she embraces sculpture, she embraces embroidery, tapestry, mm -hmm. uh, you know, wood building. You know, she is a kind of, in a way, I think, weirdly, this shows her as a kind of Renaissance woman. Please. But what, no, no, I was going to say about that whole question of the tapestry. It, it, it is a very female way of working, and she talks about this idea that when the women all get together to do the embroidery and tapestry, that is art in itself, that you may make something initially quite quickly, but then what you do is you transform it with the endeavour of many artists. Yes, I mean, it clearly is an exhibition that's aware of its art historical context, mm -hmm. but I don't think, like Paul, that it that context actually flatters her work. I think the Rodin uh, drawings uh, and watercolours are in a different league to her work. And I think the Turner's sketches, while perhaps more interesting than they are impressive, at least show that he had the modesty to keep his scrawls to himself. Well, it was only... Well, uh, well some would say, because it was a time <laughs> in which he lived, meant that actually people like Ruskin would be down his neck saying, you I, can't have I, these. I, I, they, I, they, I think they, it works really well as well in the context of the exhibition. Yeah. These windows open up yes. to the sea and the colours... And, and, and I think the framing of it is, is also an imaginative leap that I think is important.